Hi, I'm Andrew Wall here at the 2009 Canadian Business Leadership Forum. I'm joined by uh, Melinda Stronach, uh, who is the Executive Vice Chairman of Magna International, as well as the Chair of the Melinda Stronach Foundation. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Um, you say that the uh, effective corporate philanthropy uh, can be a competitive advantage. How so? Well, I think um, for partic in particular for corporations that uh, rely on consumers to purchase their products, you want to have a good reputation. And so by giving back to communities, first of all, where your employees live and work, you generate pride among your employees. I think they, they feel proud of their company. That's, that's a good thing. You want to enjoy where you go to work. You want to be proud of the, the reputation your, your corporation has. And that serves in good times and in bad times. You build up a lot of goodwill. But also, in particular, when you're selling a product to consumers, consumers pay attention to what the company stands for, what principles does that company have, and do they are they a good corporate citizen? And I think particularly the, the younger generation um, that, and I think you and I can be qualified as part of the younger generation, Thank we're you. very much on the internet, we research uh, we make when we make choices, when we're buying a car, when we're buying even a house, when we're going for dinner, uh, is it um, you know environmentally friendly, is that uh, company uh, adopting good corporate behavior. So it will affect your revenues at the end of the day because people do have choices and are, make, are much more aware of the choices that they're making through the internet. I mean, when, uh, you're looking at corporate philanthropy from, from, from mm -hmm. a small business perspective versus a large business. I think, I think most people would think that it's sort of a, it's a large business kind of, uh, a kind of role where, where they have the, the profits to be able to reinvest mm -hmm. a little bit. Um, how are strategies different for small or medium-sized companies that, that operate at a different level than, than you know, large banks or something? Yeah, no, and, and I think they, you have to be creative and flexible. Um, certainly, I've dealt with a lot of uh, small business operators that get involved in the community directly themselves. They might sit on the Chamber of Commerce. They might be participating in the Rotary Club. They might uh, serve on the hospital board. So they themselves, the business owner, small business owner, would get directly involved. And it's incredible the amount of goodwill that can be built up in a community just by uh, by doing those kinds of things alone. And uh, also allowing their employees and, and promoting their employees to actively volunteer with uh, community organizations. That doesn't cost a lot of money to do that. I think that's part of creating a culture that uh, engages that company within the community, and, and I've said it before, but you build up tremendous relationships and goodwill by doing so. If you're a larger company, you've been around longer, you've been able to amass some profits, then you have also you know, the financial wherewithal to be able to give away. But even companies that have the financial wherewithal to give away will become much more directly uh, involved in those donations because they also they want to be accountable for those donations. And, and if they're giving to breast cancer, okay, where are those dollars going? How much research money are you, you know, how much research are you doing and what are the results of that? Um, how has the uh, recession changed uh, corporate philanthropy as, as, as a, the, you know, the, the need has risen, but it's also the, the you know, supply of it has, uh, it yes, has changed, yeah. I would think. Well, the needs, the needs uh, definitely have risen as people, um, you know, lose their jobs and depend on social services more, the, those needs rise. And it's, it's tougher when you're running a foundation or a charity because businesses are scaling back. So uh, you do have to be more innovative, and uh, it's not always a cash contribution you're looking for. Sometimes you're looking for, well, you know what, we need the manpower to be able to do this event to raise money. So can you, uh, can you lend us one of your valuable employees for a day to be able to, to execute upon this initiative? Is, is that the big shift in corporate philanthropy that's not just about um, donating money and, and putting a logo on something, but it's, but it's, yeah. it's more about you know, actually supplying Get real, uh, you know, feet on the ground. Yes, and, being yeah. more and being more engaged in the cause directly. So it's not yeah. just checkbook philanthropy. And there, there are those companies that that choose to choose to do that to write a check, and that's that's great if that's what they're, um, you know, what they want to do. But many many companies and uh, individuals are really getting involved in the cause directly because they want to understand the cause and where that, you know, to follow where the money is going and to see the final impact at the end of the day. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate the uh, the conversation. Thank you. Thank, thank you for having me.